Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm very excited to share with you about some latest development in the stable diffusion. It's the latent consistent model, LCM. This time there are some updates that it is able to use any 1.5 models or SDXL. It acts as a LoRa. So you can basically connect with any existing model. So the this is the technical report from Hugging Face. There are some detailed description. I strongly suggest that you can take a look at that. There are some also some uh, sample code here. There's a sample output. There's comparisons. There are also some benchmark on different uh, hardwares. So today I will gonna do a quick demo on both uh, NVIDIA and uh, AMD GPU. So um, I think also you can go to the GitHub homepage for the LCM. There are multiple uh, checkpoints that you can download. So here are there are three LCM LoRa one for SD one point five, another one for SDXL, and the the distilled SDXL SSD one B. All you need to do is to to download the LoRa's from the GitHub page. There are links there. You put them into here. So one, two, three. So that's our three. And then the models is put under the checkpoints. You can put any SD 1.5 and SDXL, including the fine tuned model here. So I think that's it, right? So I think, uh, and also make sure that you um, update your config UI based on the latest uh, GitHub uh, commits. So I think that's important. So for example, I think this, this node here depends on the latest code. So I think uh, um, that should be easy to do. So let me also show you that. So how to um, update your Comfy UI. You only need to go into the root directory of your Comfy UI. So here, and uh, you just uh, do a git uh, Pull, right? Just uh, do a get a pull, so that uh, will be it. And also, if you have the the manager here, the conf UI manager here, you can also do that in the manager. So you just uh, need to. Uh, update everything. So you can do see here, update all, update config UI. So update all includes the updating config UI and also the extensions, all the customized nodes got updated automatically. So I think that's really a nice feature. And also make sure that after it's done, you just restart your config UI so that's uh, what be it. First, I will use the NVIDIA SOD60 GPU to run a test. Yeah, and this is uh, the NVIDIA dashboard here. This is the VRAM usage. I have 12 gigabytes of VRAM. This is uh, Sodi 60. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's uh, go to the Comfy UI page. And this is the workflow that uh, is able to use the latest uh, 
LCM Laura here. This is the Laura part. Here is the case sampler. So you see that the step here. I'm using the five steps. And uh, we can first let's use the SDXL model. SDXL here, and this is the SDXL corresponding Laura here. I'm using a very simple prompt right here. And uh, the dimension for SDXL is 1024 by 1024. And uh, let's uh, uh, control enter to start it. Yeah, the first uh, round has some warming up. Yeah, took uh, three seconds for five steps. So let's uh, try it again. Yeah, three seconds, five steps. Yeah, and, and as, as you can see here, the quality is uh, quite uh, stunning. Okay, let's... Uh, so next, let's uh, try the another model. The SSD-1B, this is the distilled SDXL. So, this one. And uh, control enter start it. Right, two seconds, five step. Yeah, two seconds for five steps. You can generate a high resolution image. I think that's really impressive. And let's also just decrease it to four. Yeah, also not the quality is not uh, bad. So it's also the number of steps also depends on your prompts. So I think if you have some complex uh, complex prompt, you would prefer it to be higher steps. But if uh, the prompt uh, is relatively simple, I think even two or three is sufficient. Yeah, so let's try three. Yeah, three be a little bit uh, less uh, desired quality here, as you can see, right? So, okay. Yeah, let's uh, put it back to four. And uh, this is the um, progress bar. So we, we do see that uh, the speed is about 2.4 iteration per second. Okay. All right, so lastly, let's try the SD 1.5. So you can use any 1.5 version, fine tune the checkpoints or the original checkpoints. So let's see 1.5 corresponding Laura hit right here. And the number of steps is four. You will need to change the dimension to five to 512, so that, that uh, should be the ideal resolution you should look for. So let's do that. See that, see that. Right, so so I think we, we do see that uh, after changing the resolution, we do see that it uh, is able to create the image quite well. This one, and we increase the number of steps here. Right, so, all right, right, looks nice. So this is the progress bar. We see that less than one second, which is able to create the images. 
Next, let I will show you the AMD GPU. This is the 95 US dollar chip, the APU 4600G, turned into a 16 gigabytes VRAM GPU. I strongly suggest that you can check out my previous video. I had a number of video that dedicated to this APU. I think this is a wonderful uh, technology. I, let's uh, activate uh, the environment. And uh, it's the same thing. Yeah, in this case, I'll open it here to make it more clear. So this is the VRAM, 16 gigabytes VRAM. This is the terminal. And uh, the same thing, let's first to try the SD 1.5 model. So. Okay, so let's sec make it a second time. Utilization is 99%. About 15 seconds for 5 steps. Let's decrease it to 4. Just around the 12 seconds. Right, looks nice. Okay, so let's uh, try the SDXL. SDXL base. SDXL Laura for LCM. And it's a four step. And also make sure to change the dimension to 1024. And uh, let's uh, get started. Okay, it's about uh, 100 seconds. Let's uh, next, let's uh, try the SSD 1B. Uh, let's run it twice. All right, we see that uh, the image looks uh, amazing. And it took about uh, 70 seconds. I think uh, consider the cost of our hardware. I think this is uh, uh, really the best 95 US dollar I ever spent. So, right, the 95 dollars basically like maybe one meal or two meals you need to spend around the 100 dollar, I think. Uh, all right, so, and it looks nice. I think, uh, I, yeah, I hope you like uh, my video please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you for your support see you next time goodbye